Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome back to the channel. It's October. I'm reading horror novels. And so here's another one of my uh, book reviews around the books that I've been reading during the Halloween time. And this one is the one, one of the ones that you guys voted on during my, uh, my 50 sub, um, poll, I guess, or whatever. I got a couple of votes and this was one of them. So, uh, this is The Fisherman by John Langan. And I really, really liked this book. I really liked this book. Um, so I don't want to say too much about it, uh, because I don't want to give too much of it away. There's, I think the, 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 the blinder you go in, the better. And I basically knew nothing about this novel going in. Um, like I didn't even read the back jacket or whatever. Um, so with that said, I'll just say that I really, really liked it. And basically I'll give you a quick synopsis. Basically the setup is this guy, his name's Abe, his wife dies and it crushes his whole life and you know, whatever. It's very, very traumatic for him. Uh, she dies of cancer. So it's not like. It's something that, like, he knew was coming, but still it was, like, a really big thing and whatever. Um, obviously his wife died. But, uh, <clears throat> it, it really, it really, um, shakes him hard. He starts to drink a lot. He becomes an alcoholic. And, like, he's at, he's at risk of maybe losing his job because of, uh, what's going on. And so, just one day he just decides, he's like, I'm gonna go fishing. And he goes fishing. He has no idea what he's doing. He doesn't catch anything, whatever. But he goes every single day, and he really gets into fishing, and he starts fishing every day, and yada, yada, yada. Years and years and years go by. He's fishing all the time. And that's kind of the thing that, like, that, like, brings him out of his, like, depression and stuff. And so, yeah. Anyway, um, then a co-worker, co-worker's name is Dan, um, his wife and two kids die in a car accident and obviously very traumatic for Dan as well. And so Abe is like, Hey, you know, I understand. I've been there. I know what it's like to lose someone who's really close to you. Do you want to go fishing? And Dan agrees and they go fishing and they become fishing buddies. Right? So, Anyway, that's like the setup. I don't want to go too much into any of the rest of it. Because um, like I said, it really is a fantastic book that is better the less you know about it. So just let's just leave it at that. That's like the first 50 or so pages. And then it gets crazy. It becomes this like Lovecraftian cosmic crazy weird thing that is just awesome. And it is so sad and so powerful. It's about loss of a loved one. It's about the lengths that people will go in order to see that person again. If they could, if, if, if you had five minutes with that person, what would you say? What would you do? Letting go and accepting that they are gone for good and that you can't get them back. These are all things that this book just delves into and it, it it's a tear jerker. It'll make you cry. But it also is horrifying and just crazy. I mean, this is a horror novel. But I liken it to uh, Pet Cemetery. It's very similar, thematically at least dealing with loss and dealing with you know the loss of a loved one or whatever is like a theme in pet cemetery it's a theme in this they're done in different ways and um god yeah this book was just really really good so i highly recommend that you check this book out it is totally worth it it's not that long it took me like i think i read it in like three or four days um so yeah, totally worth it. I highly recommend it 100%. Thank you for suggesting that I read this book during my October Halloween reads because it was perfect. And um, 
yeah, I'm gonna, I got a few more books that I'm planning on reading during October, so I got a couple more reviews coming, and so be on the lookout for those. Like and subscribe if you like stuff like this, if you want to be up to date on all the things that I'm doing on the channel. Um, and that's all I've got. Like I said, short and sweet today, but uh, yeah, have a nice Halloween, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.